you know, less heat out there and now we have to get ready to get back into it. So we have an excessive heat watch and that will get upgraded to a warning as it gets closer. But for some spots, once it begins a late week this week, it goes all the way through at least next Wednesday night. It does look like next week we'll start to get like a degree or two cooler as we head into Monday or Tuesday, but it is still going to stay very hot and hot enough to uh, warrant some excessive heat warnings. So that means the risk of heat related illnesses is going to stay high as we head through at least the middle of next week. And of course, as we get a little closer, we'll let you know if that will get extend extended. At 78 degrees over in Ontario, we have some patchy clouds out there, quite a mixture of what's going on. Some subtropical weather that is out to the southeast. It's mixing around with some moisture off the coast. We have marine layer clouds this morning. And so we have this batch that's making it partly cloudy outside at the moment. 79 degrees over into Big Bear. It's 98 in Palm Springs. And uh, we still have this high pressure that's right around the Four Corners region. And it's still in place enough to bring the potential uh, for some monsoonal weather. So there's a chance of some thunderstorms or showers isolated for the mountains and deserts really over the next week there's going to be certain days that we're going to have a higher chance of it than others and it looks like tomorrow might actually it might be changing a bit now tomorrow might be a better chance than this weekend we'll have to see what happens it looks like on the models that we're still seeing a bit on friday but now some of the models are disagreeing with that and saying tomorrow and monday will be the best chance either way there's still a chance of it every day so as we head into this afternoon, we have some light spotty showers, it appears, and then we head into your Thursday, same goes, a little more convection, but then as we get into the day of, it stops showing up on the model, so it's a little touchy, it changes every day. As we head into your Friday, we see some more activity that will be happening for the eastern areas. There's a chance it could move into some of the eastern areas too, like the Inland Empire, so we'll do through the weekend into next week, and then just slightly cooler by next Tuesday. The valleys in Inland, every single day, we do have a little chance, 10 to 20%, for an isolated shower or a thunderstorm, and that goes for the deserts as well. 103 in the high desert today, 106 tomorrow, but then Friday we jump up and get close to 110, and we just stay close to that through all the way into next Tuesday. Very hot weather for the deserts. Giovanna Phillip, I'll send it back to you. All right.